For 9-11 Research is by far my most extensive site. There, I have other sites as well, like 9-11 Review um, and WPC7.net, those are the main ones. Um, I wanted to say that the tools that you provided us with today in your, in your speeches, I guess this question is directed at both of you, have obviously tremendous ramifications. And I wanted to ask for any suggestions that you have, because the only way to change things in this country is to get this message to the public one by one by one. And there are a tremendous mass of people that are just going to be so shocked that it's really hard to talk to them about this, because it just discounts you know, everything that they believed in. And I wonder if you have any suggestions about how to effectively how to effectively deal with this, to help people to understand that they believed a lie for so long and get the message out. And if all of us can go out and do that successfully, maybe we have some impact. Um, well, I find that when I interact with people individually, I, I try to get a sense of what, um, what their issues are, what, what stands in the way of them taking a deeper look at things. And it might just be, um, um, I mean, it's different for different people. I mean, I'll, 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 um, I'll kind of strategically start with some issue that maybe they haven't heard about Building 7. I mean, Building 7, some people haven't heard about it. They don't have this wall of defensiveness, so they've seen the Discovery Channel tell us how the powers came down or whatever. And they're more likely to, to actually take a look at the evidence that you present them if you kind of present that a little bit out of context. Another thing is, um, um, a lot, I, one of the biggest objections that comes up is, oh, how can people possibly have participated in such a vast conspiracy and kept it secret? And um, I, actually, I, I talk a lot with people about that. And um, one of the, um, what I, I like to debunk a lot of the notions that people have, like, oh, that it would have taken that long of a time to wire the buildings. Not necessarily. I mean, there's so many different scenarios that, that um, ways that could have been done. And, and I like to, I mean, people just immediately jump to the conclusions, oh, there would have been all this debt board running all through the towers, because that's the way they do normal demolition. Well, there's a, the, there's a page on my site. I actually have an FAQ that I talk about all these kind of issues about how um, demolitions could actually be engineered. And I mean, there's, a, there's this, uh, you know, I assume it's a wireless operation. If you can actually find a color blaster, which will allow you to just distribute these charges and then um, remotely detonate them in any order. Um, so so I, address, you know, I address questions like that in detail here. But that's one of the most frequent things that, that comes up. Um, the, the associate that, I, um, that has helped me more than anyone with 9-11 research, Greg Roberts, has written an essay which um, takes on Picks on that question specifically, where are the 911 whistleblowers? Um, and it goes into great depth. It's almost a book about this. It just takes on that question because it's so many people, that's that's the main thing that's in front of them. Oh, how could there have been this vast conspiracy? Well, it wasn't necessarily the vast conspiracy that people think it was, at least not on the operational level of how it was carried out. I mean, clearly there's a lot of people that cooperated in the various ways with propping up the official story. But that's a different issue from how it was actually engineered. Stephen, John, answer the question. Stephen, yes. Let me answer it in a I talked to a group of uh, I talked to a group of college students about uh, 9-11 because they invited me to answer questions. <clears throat> but then we started with Ken <clears throat> Runaway came out. How, how can you have um, so many people involved in this and keep it secret? That seems to be a uh, major question that you get. So I <clears throat> talked to them about some historical events, the Reichstag fire, for example, was it 1933, I think, <clears throat> where now we know, but we didn't know then, uh, <clears throat> Hitler's people, Nazis, you know, <clears throat> set a fire in the Reichstag, which was the German parliament, the building at the time, and uh, killed Germans. I mean, these German uh, uh, officials were killed. And there was actually one fellow that told a magazine uh, uh, that, in other words, he blew the whistle. He was discounted and he was found dead. I don't remember his name, but I don't <laughs> So there's an example. But it did come out in the Nuremberg trials, and uh, finally, <clears throat> it's accepted now that that was uh, the Nazis who caused the fire and killed Germans, and they blamed it, by the way, on the Communist Party, so that they, the Nazi Party could have ascendancy over the Communist Party at the time. Then you have, uh, you know, the Gulf Tonkin, which I think, did that come up this morning? And, and anyway, Daniel Ellsberg blew the whistle on it and revealed what happened in this. But, after the war was over, not once the Reichstag fire, that took 33, you know, it took about a dozen years 
we know there's one whistleblower, he was discounted, discredited, killed. And then uh, that was kept secret for a long time. How about the Holocaust? Uh, you know, that was kept secret. That was a very big, uh, tremendously awful, it was so awful, I think people could hardly believe it. Same sort of situation. It took a long time before that was established again in the nerve of the trials. Established that time ago. But anyway, so there's other examples of uh, Maine. Remember the Maine to help with Spain? I told the students about that one. You Google on that one. If you, the Spanish American War, 1898, you blame the sinking of the Maine on Spain so that we can attack Spain and the Korean and up and out of there. Turns out later, as you pull up the Maine, it wasn't knocked out by a mine of any type of Spanish mine or anything. It was some kind of an explosion. But it was blamed on. Uh, the Spanish. And so we're going to get these historical examples of events that were either staged by another big example, the Himmler operation. You can Google on that. Again, uh, this was Himmler, uh, the SS leader. Well, the German prisoners dressed up as Polish soldiers shot, and this is along the Polish uh, German border, so they then the uh, press, and this was blamed as uh, the Polish uh, attacking in Germany. And here you've got these Polish soldiers, and that press, of course, reported this here. That came out again after the war. And this was the, the, the uh, basis for attacking Poland by Germany. So you have all these staged events. I mean, I can go way back to the uh, And so there's lots of these. And so I have to walk and say, well, wait a minute. If there's an event, Maybe the first thing we should think of is, was this a staged event to, as a pretext for war? I mean, what war followed? If there's a war that follows, and think, well, maybe this was, you know, allowed or staged. Even allowed, in, you know, in other words, was there foreknowledge? So that's one way to approach it. The other way, um, I'd like to... Pearl Harbor's known. <laughs> okay, well, next one. Which war has not been started, uh, you know, by some event to, to make it look like you're defending the homeland, you see? Okay, so after what we say, yeah, that's the norm. Okay, uh, sort of take a sketch on that real quick, I, I noticed. And, uh, you know, it's not, uh, you know, there, there does seem to be this myth that, you know, American can't do such things. But on the other hand, we're human too. And uh, yeah, and, and so you have all these historical events. Okay, the other thing I'd like to say is uh, I, I was influenced by WTC7.net. That's where I got my, after several nudges. So my first introduction where I really got into this was through Jim's site. Let's just see. Through, um, oh, 